Hi everybody, hope you are all well. So today I'm doing a lovely vintage inspired set of nails on myself. So obviously I've just applied the tips and I'm just prepping the nail with dehydrator and primer. The dehydrator that I used was um, Neos, which I absolutely love and I'm on the dregs of the bottle. So I am going to have to put an order in. So obviously I just apply one coat of each of these and then then obviously I'm going to go in and apply my acrylic um, I'm doing a gel set today so obviously I'm just going to put all my acrylic onto my nails I'm using NSI's clear powder and I'm using the edge acrylic liquid so because I've went for a little set of nails today I've went in with my smaller brush which this is the Neos brush size number eight and it's lovely it is the only downside I have about it is the handle is really long it is such a long brush I don't understand why I feel like just getting a saw and chopping the end off but other than that you know it's it's perfect so once obviously I've encapsulated all of the nails um, I'm going to go in and do my filing which obviously you know how I do my filing I like to use an e-file um, and that gives it a perfect it just saves you know obviously yes you can get the same results with a hand file but it just saves all that elbow grease you know obviously you know on your arm and stuff like that it's just hacky laziness really <laughs> so obviously once I've done all of that I am going to apply a base coat gel base coat and cure that in my LED lamp for one minute so obviously I have shown the colours that I am using today um, this is a beautiful baby pink color that I'm going to go in with and I apply that to four nails out of the five and I keep the ring finger just clear because I'm going to do some hand painted roses on this today um, so this does take two coats I know it's a cheaper brand you know it, it is from like Hong Kong or something like that and I only paid a couple of pound for it but I really can't fault it. I've used it quite a few times um, and it's the Elite 99. It doesn't have a colour so this is the number on the bottom. Um, but I really can't fault it. You know, it's it's never lifted. It doesn't chip and nothing. So, you know, cheap isn't always bad. So, you know, if you are a little bit wary of trying the cheaper brands, you know, for the sake of a couple of pounds, just go out there and try it. You know, and sometimes you mightn't be disappointed. Um, so, yeah, obviously, just applying two coats and curing in my LED lamp for one minute each time. If you are using a UV lamp, it will take two minutes. Um, and as I say, I'm keeping the ring finger clear. I didn't apply a base coat on the ring finger either. So what I've done, I just got a little pot lid and I just applied some of the pink gel, some white gel and also I didn't have a dark green gel so I just used some green um, acrylic paint. So what I'm doing on the ring finger, I'm just using a dotting tool and I'm just going to put four random like splodge kind things, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, a rose is not a perfect shape, so just go in there and just make some random little circles. So I do go in, flash cure these for about 20 or 30 seconds just so obviously I can add the white on top of it I know some people like swirl the colours together but I do like the white to, to show up it, I think because it's such a light colour you know um, I just wanted it to, to stand out a bit more bolder and also on my middle finger and my thumb I just applied some random polka dots um, and obviously cured these in my lamp so Obviously, once these have done, I'm going to go in on the roses and with a tiny little detailing brush, I'm just going to do just a random swirl, nothing nothing fancy, just a little swirl, just to try and make it look a little bit more like a rose. Um, so obviously, once I do the little swirl, then I'm just going to use the same brush for my acrylic paint and just do some random little lines coming off the roses to make it look like little petals. Um, 
you know, I, I try my best with nail art. I'm not the best nail art person. I've never made out like I am. But I think anybody with basic um, nail art, you know, can, can pull this design off. It's such an easy design, but it is, I don't know, it's really pretty. So today, what I'm using, it came this morning in the post. I ordered a matte top coat never used a matte top coat before but obviously i have had a few customers that have asked for it lately so i ordered it um and this only cost me four pound fifty with free postage um once again you know you've got to try the che che cheaper you know alternatives if, if it was rubbish i would go out there and buy obviously you know a better brand this is a brand called cco never heard of it before but that's what it was um and it, it just says on the bottle no wipe matte top coat i'm not personally sure if matte coats do come with the tacky layer i'm not sure i'm not an expert on gel to, um, matte top coats so obviously this one didn't have a tacky layer but the all might be like that so don't quote us on that so obviously i went in and i applied one coat i cured that in my led lamp for one minute the ones with the polka dots i did apply two coats because obviously the polka dots stand up a little bit um and as i say no tacky layer so result um so what i've done with here this is a oh, blue skies builder gel so i just went in for a little bit on my index finger and they applied a beautiful gem i ordered a gem wheel of ebay the other day and it came with i think 12 different random crystals and it was 99 pence free postage it did take about three weeks to come but for 99 pence i'm sure we could all wait and it come with some beautiful little crystals like this so i thought it was perfect for the design and also i added a little bit gel on my little finger and applied a squawsky gem so obviously i have left some pictures at the end i really hope that you enjoyed this video and um, please remember to like and subscribe because i love you all i love all your lovely comments and stuff and um, so i will see you in my next video guys Bye.